The Salisbury Steak is widely popularized by a local fast food chain as the Burger Steak. It easily became everybody's favorite, and I myself is a big fan. As intimidating as it is, we can make one at home. Good day everyone, and welcome to the Urban Casserole. Please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe to the channel. Our burger steak is simply a combination of two easy recipes. One for the patty and one for the gravy. To make our burger patty, we will need 500 grams of ground beef, one tablespoon of salt, pepper, paprika, and two tablespoons of all-purpose flour. Combine all ingredients into a bowl and fold in repeatedly up until you get a consistent mixture. Set aside for at least 2 hours but I would prefer overnight at the bottom part of your fridge. Now for the gravy, we will need to prepare the following. 1 liter of chicken broth, 2 tablespoons of all-purpose flour, butter, and half a cup of mushrooms. Melt your butter over low heat and stir to cover every inch of the bottom of the pan. Add in your flour. You can now add your mushrooms when all of your flour combines with your butter. Pour in your chicken broth and bring to simmer while stirring constantly. It may take around 10 minutes, but once you reach the desired consistency, we set this aside and use for later. Take our beef out the fridge and divide it into two equal parts. Lightly press over a flat surface while forming it into a round circular shape. We are making two 4-inch wide patties and about an inch thick. Lightly grease a preheated pan, cook over medium heat for 5 minutes on one side. Flip once and cook for 5 minutes more. Once you're done with your second patty, slide it to the side and bring over the first one and turn off the heat. Pour your gravy over the patty. You can garnish your burger steak with some chopped parsley or use your choice of mixed vegetables. I hope you liked and enjoyed our recipe for today and see you next time here at the Urban Casserole.